podium. He will speak first. So, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I am Space is delighted to announce that the five satellites entrusted today to Soyuz have been safely separated as planned on their targeted sun-synchronous orbit. For our ninth and last launch of the, launch of the year, success is here for our customers and our partners. Congratulations to all of them. This success shows Ion Space ability to deliver for European institutions and to orbit innovative small satellites. Let's be proud of this new achievement, which comes in a perfect timing after the success of Space 19 Plus under the leadership of ESA and its Director General Jan Werner. We are delighted to have orbited Cosmos SkyMed second generation or main passenger for this flight. COSMO is the fourth satellite we launched for ASI. It also marks the ninth mission for Italy, the last one being Prisma, orbited with a Vega launch vehicle earlier this year in March. I would like to thank TAS, our direct customer for the launch of COSMO SkyMed second generation, and congratulate all TAS teams for this new state of the art Bird handed over to Ion Space. This is the 162 TAS satellite launched by Ion Space. Let me for sure thank as well the Italian Ministry of Defense and ASI, the Italian Space Agency, who have entrusted Ion Space with this key mission for Italy. In parallel to an important event organized by ASI yesterday in Roma, we welcome here at CSG Admiral Giuseppe Abamonte, Director of the Italian Sec Secretariat General of Defense. Dear Admiral, we are very grateful to have you with us today here in CSG. I know that all our Italian friends and partners are now impatient to launch the second Cosmos SkyMed uh, satellite on board on a brand new Vega C. We will deliver as well. For having entrusted our Soyuz launcher with Keops, let me extend my gratitude to our second customer of the day, our dear ESA. Keops is the 74th satellite Ion Space has launched for ESA since 1982. I want to thank Gunther Assinger, Director of Science, for his renewed trust, his enthusiasm as well, and uh, all uh, what he delivers to Ion Space with uh, key missions. We have done together a BP, we will do uh, JUICE and uh, many more. To the benefit of ESA, Keops was built by Airbus in Spain, and we have a lot of Spanish friends here today with us, and it represents the 128 spacecraft we launched for Airbus. What a partnership. I would also size the occasion to welcome two of ESA Swiss guests. Mr. Joseph Widner, Deputy Director of the State Secretariat for Education, Research and Innovation of Switzerland, as well as Professor Didier Queloz. Didier Queloz uh, has just been awarded the Nobel Prize. It is not uh, nothing, the Nobel Prize, for his research on exoplanet. He is with us uh, today, and we are very proud to welcome uh, Didier in the Guyana Space Center. It is an honor to have you among us today, and we are happy to celebrate uh, what now Keops is going to deliver for the progress of science. Alongside our two main passengers, three auxiliary payloads shared their flight. For having entrusted OPSAT on our Soyuz on behalf of ESA, let me thank TVAC. OPSAT represents the first satellite we launch for the launch aggregator TVAC, and it will uh, prefigure the next ones to flight on the Vega SSMS next year. So thanks to TVAC as well. Finally, I would like to thank CNES. ISAT and ANGELS represent the 16th and the 17th satellite we launched for the French Space Agency. I extend my gratitude to Emeria, uh, also an innovative company, who jointly developed with CNES the satellite ANGELS. In this regard, let me express my deepest gratitude to Caroline Laurent, Director for Orbital Systems at CNES, and to Philippe Gauthier, President of Emeria. Ion Space is stepping in the market of the small satellites. We will have many other opportunities to show our ability to deliver with our family. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this third Soyuz from CAG and our last flight of the year brings to 23 the number of missions performed with Soyuz from the Guyana Space Center. The first one was in 2011. For all what we have done together, I would like to express my gratitude to our Russian partners, Roscosmos, RKC Progress, NPO Lavochkin, and Senki for their continuous cooperation. Let me also congratulate all the European teams who, alongside our Russian partners, have greatly contributed to today's success. Our ground contractors here in French Guiana and for sure our daily partner in CIG, CNES. Of course, for this last launch of the year, I want to pay my tribute to all of my high and space colleagues for this new success, for the, all the hours they have delivered without counting these last days, for their professionalism and their commitment. Thank you very much to all of you. So I now like to welcome uh, on stage our customers and partners. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished representatives of the agencies, of the Italian Minister of Defense, of the industries, and women and men of the great team of Cosmos Skymed second generation in Italy, and especially here in French Guiana. It's great to be here at the European Spaceport to report on behalf of the Italian Space Agency president the first successful results of this fifth Cosmos Skymed second generation satellite, the first of the second generation, and another remarkable step for Italy and for its role in Earth observation from space. And uh, let me say, it's great, it's great for me to be back in Kourou after the successful of mission Apespectral satellite, our mission, launched in March 2018, and now for another successful launch. Italy has given us, to the Italian Space Agency and to the Italian Minister of Defense, a task to guarantee the operational continuity of the Cosmos satellite constellation for civilian and defense Earth observation services, and to consolidate the excellent scientific and technological know-how reached up to now by Italy in the Earth observation sector with radar techniques. Cosmos Climate the second generation confirms the global coverage of the Earth operating in any atmospheric and light condition, night and day, and provides, compared to the first generation, increased the number of images, enhanced the quality of additional capabilities, like an example, the full polarization, and a very high response time, unsurpassed characteristics so far by any other Earth observation system. After the first Cosmos Skymed uh, satellite launch in 2007, the constellation of Italian Cosmos Skymed has been completed in 2010. The satellites are showing outstanding performances, exceeding the lifetime expectation, demonstrating how a reliable design can go beyond the planned lifetime. After 12 years from the launch of the first Cosmos Skymed satellite, the second generation is coming to boost the system capabilities with improved performances. And furthermore, in one year, the second satellite of a Cosmos SkyMed second generation will be launched on a Vega C launcher, confirming the capabilities of Italian industries. The second generation of Cosmos SkyMed represents for us a milestone in radar remote sensing technology providing in a dual-use mode a revolutionary understanding of our planet that will strengthen our country, country leadership in the field of satellite Earth observation 
and its services and applications as an effective tool for economic growth and social well-being. Today, we are at the dawn of a new era, an era that will bring new challenges and opportunities, guaranteeing to the national community the continuity of services already available and new ones, providing a great improvement in a broad range of applications like land management, service uh, national security, disaster prevention, protection environment, and in general for the care of our planet. Cosmos Climate, the second generation, has been developed under the aegis of my agency, together with Italian Minister of Defense, by a joint venture of Italian industries, led by Thales Alien Space Italia, responsible for the satellite and the system, and Telespazio, which set up the ground segment of the mission. The meaningful participation of Leonardo and of several Italian small and medium enterprises provided a strong contribution to the program. I would like to express my full appreciation to the industrial consortium for the excellent work done and to Ariane Spass for the perfect launch services they did once more delivering our satellite in orbit. I would like to thank also the colleagues of the Italian Space Agency, of the Minister of Defense, that never gave up during difficult moments, that every challenging, challenging space program has to face. They continue to do their best to have the greatest and most powerful Earth observation radar for dual use ever built. Concluding, Cosmos Kymed and the second generation is the result of the joint effort of a wonderful team of industry and institutions, composed by technicians, engineers, young and old professionals, that together with passion spent their effort for a challenging common adventure. This success is dedicated to them, to their work, ingenuity, dedication, that have allowed us to obtain such an outstanding result. Now, let's time to go to work for Consos Kaimed and for Italy, and uh, thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a really great honor for Thales and Space uh, to be here today, celebrating the launch of the first satellite of a Cosmos Second Generation. It's a really great honor for us to be here in what we call an important milestone for Thales and Space, of course, but for the scientific community, for the whole industry, uh, Italian industry, and for the customer too. Let me give you some technical data. COSMO is an Earth observation mis mission based on X-band synthetic aperture radar sensing capabilities. COSMO, gen Cosmo second generation represents the follow mission of the COSMOS SkyMed program. The first generation, you know, consists of four satellites. The first one launched in 2007, and since then, this constellation has been our guardian angel from its orbit at 620 kilometers altitude. But just some words. Uh, in fact, what do we use COSMO for? COSMOS images were used in 2008 by the United Nations and the humanitarian organization after the terrible earthquake in China and after the largest hurricane in Burma. Again, COSMOS climate was there a few months later to help the rescue squad after the hurricane Anna and Ike devastated Haiti. These are just some examples, as well as uh, manage environmental risk, damage assessment activity, rescuing operation, infrastructure monitoring, agriculture and forestry, surveillance and security. Now it's time to grow and to have one more satellite in the sky, a new generation of a new brand product. Thanks to the new technologies developed by Talian and Space in our sites in Rome, Milan, Turin and L'Aquila, 
Cosmos Second Generation satellites will grant the operational continuity of the services provided in, in the last 12 years by the constellation of the first generation. Cosmos Generation will also provide our customers with a new and more advanced observation capability in terms of image quality, resolution, information content, pointing agility, and system response time. These steps ahead have been made possible thanks to the implementation of new technologies in the antenna, in the radar, and in the satellite, allowing to fulfill many operational needs and reaching larger community users. Let me finally remind you that this is a system designed to address the needs of both commercial and governmental, uh, government customers, as well as the scientific community. I'm ending my short speech with one further reason to be proud today. You know that this satellite launched this morning for Italian Space Agency and for the Italian Minister of Defense is the primary passenger of the Soyuz uh, launcher. But it's well known that there are additional passengers on board that make this launch uh, a special event uh, for Thales and Alina Space, CAOPS for the European Space Agency, and ANGEL for CNES. In fact, we have been involved also in their development, and, this, and they both use uh, tax technologies, so you can understand how much uh, is important these days for us. Now it's uh, time to conclude and to thank uh, a lot of people. First, I would like to thank my people, all the amazing Thales and Space employees, who led us to this great success, a large and international team with the great spirit of cooperation and team working that has made possible this success. I want to thank, I want to thank any single one of them. I thank the Respazio team that uh, has realized the ground segment, EGEOS that will commercialize the data all over the world, and Leonardo that provide state-of-art equipment as a power supply and star sensors. We all together faced and managed the most complex situation in the best way. I want to thank Ariane Space, hosting here for their excellent service. Thank you. And the last but not the least, I thank our customer, the Italian Space Agency, and uh, the Min Italian Minister of Defense for having teamed with us from the very beginning to achieve this great success for Italy. So, go speed uh, BS23 and all these passengers. Go. Dear ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to stand here the second time in my career and give a victory speech. <laughs> and uh, I would first like to congratulate and thank uh, the teams of all five satellites, uh, all spacecrafts that we have uh, successfully put in, in orbit. And uh, this family of satellites with a mother satellite, a baby satellite, uh, or a child satellite, and three baby satellites is really symptomatic for the family of teams that has come together here and has also learned to know each other for the last uh, few days. And uh, we, we come out here as a real family. And this shows how cooperation on the European uh, landscape is really working uh, in, a, in a positive sense. So I'm, I'm really very glad about that. And um, I would like first to say that uh, we are extremely relieved uh, that all, I mean, at least we now know that Keops uh, is working, all systems are green, uh, all this telemetry is stable, uh, temperatures are fine, uh, car, uh, pa uh, powers, uh, voltages are fine, so everything is really uh, good to go. Um, and I would like to uh, express a series of thanks uh, to um, a lot of people who have made this possible. And the first thanks I would like to express is to the PI, uh, Willy Benz. Um, Willy told me that he has put together the idea of KOPS about 10 years ago on a single sheet of paper and now see what has come out of it. Uh, he led a team uh, of um, scientists and engineers, and it still leads a team of scientists and engineers. And you have seen some of them, uh, their powerful um, response to uh, the success. And I would like to say that in particular, I'm impressed about the, um, uh, the 
this, the breadth of the team, the, uh, the young um, uh, new generation coming in, and in particular also the fact that uh, a lot of um, important roles are taken over by female um, scientists and engineers. So this is really the future for, for all of us. Um, I would like to thank the Swiss Space Office uh, in the um, secretary. Sorry, I have to put the name exactly <laughs> in the space <laughs> uh, in the State Secretary for Education, Research, and Innovation uh, of Switzerland, which is our partner in this mission. This is the first mission which is really done in full partnership between one of the member states and ESA, uh, and this has been a, a very um, interesting and important experience. And I, so I thank um, uh, Swiss Space Office for supporting Willy Benz and the team uh, in, in this enterprise and for um, also leading uh, a cooperation of a total of 11 member states. As, as usual, in the ESA science program, uh, ESA is building uh, the satellites and launching them through or helping uh, Ariane Spass to launch them. And um, uh, the, the instruments are provided by the member states, and so it is always a very important cooperation, but in this case it is an even more um, uh, cooperation important because of uh, the, the leadership of one of the um, uh, agencies. Um, I would like to thank the scientists and the engineers and the scientists represented uh, by the chair of the science uh, team, Didier Kelos, who has brought his energy uh, with him and has, has really energized all of us. And so thank you for that. And you also brought uh, half of the Nobel Prize with you. <laughs> and um, uh, that, I think, will also uh, be a very good basis for excellent science uh, in the future. I would like to thank industry, because industry is so important um, for all we are doing. And I would in particular like to thank uh, uh, Casa Airbus uh, in Madrid, our partners. We live in the same city. <laughs> and um, in particular also for the fact that uh, Keops was built in time and budget, something that is really very important for us to um, carry on in the future. And uh, then we are able to um, expand on, on our um, important activities. Um, I would like uh, to express an extremely and, and really heartfelt thanks to Ariane Spass on one hand uh, for, again, a beautiful delivery um, of all of our spacecrafts in orbit. But in this particular case, uh, with the Soyuz uh, launcher, also our Russian colleagues, um, which have done a great job. And you know all this care that we had um, yesterday and the fact that they were able to fix this over um, a very short period of time. I would personally like to apologize that I have contributed to some of the turbulence uh, yesterday, which hopefully has been smoothed out uh, today. So thank you very much for, uh, for this. Um, and uh, then uh, I would like to thank all of the ESA member states, not just the ones who are participating in KEOPS, but uh, 22 member states are really the ones who are carrying our program forward. They are funding the science program uh, in a mandatory fashion, so they all have to contribute, and so they are also part of, uh, of KEOPS um, and of the whole science program. And that brings me to the ministerial in Seville that has been mentioned several times already, an extremely almost historic success, um, uh, not just because we got a, a historic record um, subscription of 14.5 billion euros, um, 0.1 billion more than ESA was asking for. So this shows also the trust that the member states are putting uh, into ESA. But also there were organizational changes uh, to bring us all forward to make to improve um, and to make us even better. And I think the success today uh, shows that this trust is really uh, uh, worthwhile. And I would like to come back to the DG's motto. Uh, Jan Werner in, in CV has brought the motto for the next uh, period, uh, which is inspiration, um, competitiveness, and responsibility. And uh, I think the ESA program can be represented by these three topics. Uh, for instance, competitiveness is all the things that we are doing for industry, that we are doing in order to enable European industry to foster um, uh, space um, activities. Responsibility is what we are doing for Earth observation, for climate change, uh, for uh, space safety and security, which has, has come uh, a new program in ESA. Uh, for the first time, we want to deorbit uh, a satellite, uh, and also we want to um, take action 
actions against um, uh, near Earth object asteroid uh, impacts and also against the solar um, aspect. Let me come to the responsibility part because this is actually also connected to our mission. When you look at this complicated roller coaster um, orbit that we are seeing there, we first went up, then we went down again, went up again. One of the reasons for that is that we have deposited some of the structures that we brought into orbit um, and uh, made them possible to deorbit. So we will not leave any space junk uh, after this mission. Um, we will only bring active stuff up there. And I think this is a very important message for the future. I think we all have to come into this mode that we have to clean uh, near space because otherwise we will not be able to do more space activities. So this mission is also representative for, for a new area, era in that. And so then uh, let me come back to the science program. The science program is the one which is basically responsible one of the ones responsible for inspiration. <laughs> and we have seen the inspiration today. The exoplanet science is really an extremely important field. Uh, Cheops is the first one of a series of three exoplanet missions, Plato, Ariel, but also the James Webb Space Telescope, which we will launch from here, from Kuru, uh, in not too long a time, will dedicate a, a large uh, amount of time to the detailed studies of exoplanets. So, so it, this is really a, a place to watch for our Children and childrens of children, I think this is a real important field that is skyrocketing up. Now, the other side of the Nobel Prize, um, which I mentioned before, has been given to cosmology, uh, to Jim Peebles, who was um, responsible for some of the early um, uh, analysis and, and theory of cosmology. And I'm very proud and happy to say that ESA is also very strong in cosmology. We will launch the Euclid mission in 22, which is dedicated to study dark energy, dark matter, black holes. We will study, we will um, uh, prepare the next big flagship missions, Athena and Lisa, which are studying the same phenomena um, and bring sound to the cosmic movies. So this will be a very exciting for the other side of the Nobel uh, coin. And then um, in the final uh, sequence, in the very important element of solar system science, because uh, the, our solar system is also ext extremely interesting, we will uh, launch JUICE uh, in 22, which goes to the icy giants of, uh, sorry, the ice planets of Jupiter. Um, and uh, Solar Orbiter, which will be launched uh, in February next year, that goes to the sun and, uh, and studies the sun from, uh, from the angle above and can look at the poles of the sun. And I would like to end with one very exciting mission, very close to my heart, that we have actually invented and developed just last year, uh, which will fly together with Ariel. It's called Comet Interceptor. Um, you may have heard about interstellar visitors, uh, rocks that are coming from other stars. And um, this Comet Interceptor mission is actually was um, born out of the idea maybe to visit a very fresh comet, a comet that has never visited the solar system before, or an interstellar visitor. And so bear with us uh, in the next 10 years. There will be really very, very much more exciting science. And this is just the beginning. Thank you very much. Buenos dias a todas y a todos. Uh, bonjour. Good morning, everyone. Um, what I'm going to say basically is I'm not going to go back, you know, to describe Keops, you know, and uh, what he's going to do. Uh, but uh, I'm going to say that we are very happy uh, because of the way we have uh, done it. And uh, like in the past, when we uh, embark ourselves in discovery missions, you know, this is, this is about the same. And always these type of projects are collaborative projects. It's cooperation which makes the projects work. And in this case, you, I think the, the, the CAOPS is an example of collaboration between uh, all Europe and the different institutions and the different, you know, sites. For example, more than 22 companies have collaborated and participated in this project in this project, uh, out of uh, 11 or 12 different countries. The scientific, uh, scientific um, uh, community that uh, help with the requirements and the definition of the mission, you know, the ESA. And I want to thank the ESA, not only because it's my, it's my customer, which is <laughs> it's a reason itself, because ESA 
in the uh, and Dr. Hassinger in the um, science uh, organization did something different, work in a different way. They dare to change the rule of the games and start with this type of mission, fast mission, which um, are a different way of working. And uh, when we talk about innovation, we think about technology, but innovation is also about changing the way of working. This is also innovative. And, and in a uh, competitive environment of space, as we, as we see uh, every single day, it's very important that we change our, our minds and we change the way we work. Otherwise, we will not be competitive. Otherwise, we will not achieve to, uh, the result that we want to, uh, to achieve. So um, basically, we are pleased and we are happy because for Spain, and I say it's not a country, it's not a flag, but for us, for Arbus Spain, it was the first time that we led, you know, we lead, we are leading a mission for ESA. And as, uh, as you say, uh, my dear customer, we were able to deliver on time, on cost, and on quality. So for that, um, I think uh, we can rely on Arbus. Arbus has all the expertise of, of bringing people and pieces together to get to the result and deliver on time, on cost, and on quality. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the smallest and the latest. Um, I'm very moved to be here today, and actually I think that every launch is like a first one. Every successful launch is like a first one, and it's very uh, emotional. I am very moved too because one year ago I was here representing the uh, French Ministry of Defense, and that Amiral Abramonte was here too, and we were launching the, the new generation uh, French military uh, optical uh, imagery uh, satellite, and I am very... Uh, happy today and very moved because I know that once in a few weeks or a few months we will be able, to, our forces will be able to exchange radar and optical images and it is very important for them. So I think it's a sign of a very strong uh, cooperation and a very strong relationship between Italy and France on military space. So congratulations to you, Admiral. And um, I want for this beautiful launch to thank um, deeply the, the teams of Ariane Espace, Ariane Espace and its teams, but also the Russian teams uh, and the French and Russian teams of Soyuz in Guyana and the teams of the uh, CNES uh, Guyana Space Center for this wonderful uh, launch. I was here mostly for uh, ISAT and ANGELS, but congratulations to ISA too, because as, as a member state, French, is, uh, France and CNES are also part of KEOPS, and I know that Airbus, uh, France, and uh, Thales Alenia Space have worked, have technologies uh, embarked in uh, chaos. But I was here mostly for uh, ISAT and ANGELS, those two very small but uh, very different satellites, the one being an educational program and the other one, uh, the really number one of an industrial uh, uh, sa satellite firm and an industrial filiere. And uh, so I want to congratulate all the teams that worked on this, um, on this project. On behalf of Jean-Yves Le Gall, who just sent me a message, I want to congratulate all CNES teams uh, today. So I guess it's all uh, CNES teams, Marianne, I think it's the space, uh, the space orbital teams and the Guyana space uh, teams. And I would like to, to wish a long life to Hemeria our beautiful uh, small company, but also to Uspace, the very startup company uh, emerged for, uh, which emerged from the Janus and the, from the ISAT uh, project. And I would like to uh, take this opportunity to wish uh, success and a long life to all French uh, small companies and startups that are gathered in the French uh, New Space Factory that came here to, the, to Guyana and, uh, and uh, made the trip uh, today. And, uh, and at last, I will congratulate every one of you and uh, for this uh, success. And since uh, next week is uh, Christmas, I will wish you a Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you.
Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what an impressive uh, European team. And I want to highlight uh, once again that uh, Europe goes up to Switzerland. And uh, because uh, uh, for uh, Keops, uh, we have had uh, the, the pleasure to, uh, to have uh, Gunther and Fernando speaking about the project, but I want to highlight uh, the huge contribution of Swiss to this project. And uh, we have with us key players of uh, Swiss. So thank you very much for your uh, dedication to this project. Um, so now uh, it is uh, time uh, to have a little break in uh, the Guyana Space Center and uh, for all our uh, friends and partners. Uh, fortunately, this break will not last uh, too long because we will be back uh, here in CSG in uh, less than one month. Ariane will uh, open the show in uh, 2020, our dear Ariane 5, and we will do it for two very good friends of Ariane Space, UTELSAT with Connect Satellite, and our dear Indian Space Agency, ISRO for GSAT 30. So this will be January the 16th, and we will start the year for these two customers. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Passez de bonnes fêtes, et soyez fiers de tout ce que vous avez fait cette année. Bravo. Happy Merci. Christmas, and be proud of everything you've done this year.